Hello and welcome to Leanne's Weekly Weigh-In. I am Leanne and this week on the Slimming World Scales I lost two pounds which is a grand total of 29 and a half pounds which means a drum roll please I got my two stone award which I'm really excited about look at this fantastic little certificate it says congratulations to Leanne on your two stones let's celebrate and it's signed by my consultant Amy I'm really 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 excited about the fact that I've won this so this can go straight into my little folder which also meant that I got a shiny and here's our little shiny stickers can you see them let's see if I can get a this is, this is so profesh isn't it this is this is YouTube profesh isn't it it's, it's not going to work though is it I'm doing a, I'm, I'm coming from a different angle and I've got my light on on me so it's, it's shining in the light oh I didn't blind you there so yeah I have lost two stone in four months which I am so excited about because it's so amazing and actually I did share my um my my post um, on face to face Friday on Instagram and also on my page it also got taken up by Amy and it's on our on our um our Slimming World page uh, public page and also our private page which um I'm so grateful for because last night I actually met up with um with my friend who originally posted that 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 picture of me which um, triggered me into thinking enough's enough and I need to do something about my weight so uh, again it was nothing against him for doing it because it was a lovely picture of the two of us and it captured an amazing moment in my time in my life but it also was the catalyst of getting me to where I am now I am still just halfway through the the program I still have um, another just under now two stone to lose to get me to that all important one four three um target which i'm really um looking forward to doing but i am so so happy with the way that the program is going um i love it i absolutely love it i am um, you'll see my testimony on instagram the reasons why i think slimming world is sustainable don't think it is a diet I do think it is a health education on how to cook and how to use the right ingredients um, and creating tasty dishes that can help you get um, live a fulfilling lifestyle on the Slimming World plan you'd think I worked for Slimming World but I don't I don't I'm just really really happy with the way that it's going so um I have been out and about this week oh and I've got lots to share with you. So um, today I wanted to talk about just a little bit about um, doing Slimming World on a budget because it can be really expensive when you have to have a third of your plate full of speed food, which we know speed food is fruit and veg, but it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be fresh fruit and veg. It can be tinned. It can be frozen. I'm going to share with you some of my cupboard staples for when I'm feeling the pinch because sometimes about halfway through the month towards the end of the month i don't like getting into debt i don't like going into overdraft we never do that but we just pull our reins in a bit and we will use some of the cupboard staples which i'm going to share with you today but also if you are on a budget um because you do have to pay 9.95 to join slimming world i did um i wanted to share with you best magazine you know last week i mentioned i think it was um was it Bella last week? This week, Best are doing the same uh, coupon. So um, the, if you see it's the Minwell, you get the 9 95 voucher on there. Um, do go and you can get this in every news agent in the UK. You can also get it in all your supermarkets. It's the one with the Queen looking very, very stressed because of what's happening with poor Harry and, and, um, and Meghan there. I'm not going to talk about that because... I don't really have an opinion about it. I think it, well, I do have an opinion. My opinion is actually you should just let them do what they want to do. They're human beings as well and they just need what they need. But um, they're not going to get into that. We're not a drama channel. Um, but do, I, I do like a little magazine and a little flick through. And I got this uh, in WH Sniffs on my way to Wales because I was in Wales this week. 
and I did spend five hours getting there and five hours getting back so I was 10 hours on the train because of the floods in Bristol but um, I wanted to share with you this are, these are not weeklies these are monthlies so women's own and woman's own and woman and Bella they all have monthly specials and they in the UK and they have these monthly diet specials and this month in all three they have um these little uh, slim and well cookbooks or mini mags depending on what they want to call them but they each one of them has got it that one's got a mini mag in there they've called it that's that was bella this one is saying a nine page mini mag of tasty recipes and this one has a seven page mini mag of tasty recipes they have got in this one this is really really cool i was this was the one i was reading and i was getting really hungry for it's got the comfort food cookbook now the comfort food cookbook um was a slim and well cookbook which uh, i think is not in print anymore you can't get it on ebay but it's got some of the recipes from there and this it was the fish and chip pie i'm so excited about that can you imagine a fish and chip pie I am really excited. The nice thing as well, it, it, it although it sounds as if it's costly, it's got prawns, it's got um, cod and it's got salmon in it. And then it's got the chips, the slim and roll chips that you make yourself on it. Um, you don't have to get the fresh fish, you can get the frozen fish or you could even get a fish pie mix. Uh, if you go to Iceland or Aldi or um, Lidl or Asda, you can get a budget version of that. If you go to... to um, to Iceland you can actually get the chips pre-made for you so you can just sling them in the in the oven then you put them on top really excited about this one I think I'm going to make this um, with mum at the weekend she I'm going to go over and see her this this Saturday and um, let's see if we can make that shall we so yeah have a look through these if you're interested it's always good to cut out and keep a little recipe within your recipe books because I think part of any sort of um, lifestyle change or any sort of diet it's really good to get a plethora of recipes in in your folder or in your recipe box or wherever it is or if you do um, we've got I, I look for recipes online and I've, I've got a shared file that I just share with my mum with little clips I think Pinterest is really good for like saving bits and pieces um, I just think it's really important just to just to get a change because if you get bored that's the one thing that can knock you off plan is when you get bored with the same old same old but there are loads of recipes out there and speaking of which there are two um people what have we got here kate and um k the pinch of nom now this book came out last year and i got this i was lucky enough to get this for christmas most people have um, had it and reviewed it on youtube there's lots of reviews on there these um these two people they were slimming world um just slim and well people that were just members of the public that went to slim and world they were slim and well members that's the word i'm looking for and um one of them was a cook and they started making all these recipes and they shared them in a facebook page they then um ended up having a um a blog account and they post all the recipes on there and in here it are some of their favorite recipes from it's 100 slimming uh, home style recipes so there's low um low sin sometimes sin free and also low calories so you can um, anyone who's slimming can follow them if you don't want to buy the book you can um you can obviously go on their website and have a look pinchofnom.com i think it might be or something like that i'll put it in the description below um but yes i really like this so they've got some recipe ideas that i looked in and i thought oh yeah definitely going to try that one which um while i was out last night actually with my friend from manchester who took that photograph um waterstones had the new one now this came out in i think this one came out in december i think it was about 19th of december um and i got that one for christmas i thought i was going to get this one for my birthday but i think it just dropped off the radar and to be quite honest i haven't seen it 
in any of the supermarkets that we go to because usually if we see them in the supermarkets we will pick them up and I know that Paul would have picked it up if he had seen it. Um, I do think there's a there's a food planner one that they do but I wasn't really interested in that one but um, not to say that it's not good it just I'm you know I like my fabulous planner. So um, this is the new one at the moment it's half price in Waterstones. I think I've seen it in WH Smith's for half price as well because when I was out the other day at Wales I did get um I, I saw it in WH Smith's and I thought I'd really like to pick that up I think it was a bit too heavy when I had my laptop and everything in my bag so um I got it last night it was oh, where were we it was 20 pounds it's half price so it was 10 pounds and I thought it was a bargain that went straight into my basket which brings me on to oh, da -da -da. what's in my basket. So I've got my bag, my bag of goodies, my MS LGBT bag from last year. Um, what's in my bag? What's in my basket? Well, first of all, before I'm going to go into the food, I'm going to share with you um, my silicone. So these I think these are genius. We've got a waffle maker and um, actually mum bought it for me and this is a confessional. I think I used it once or twice but um, and I did banana waffles when I was on uh, Weight Watchers because they were low points and um, I used the waffle maker and I think once or twice but it just was a nightmare. It was a nightmare to clean and the waffles never came out any good. They all stuck to it and it was, I wasn't, a, I really wanted to do it. I wanted it to work, but it didn't work. But um, I can't remember who I saw. It might have been, it, it may have been Tracy Mouse or it might have been Debbie from Debbie's World. Um, they used these and I bought some. And I was so impressed. These are one pound, I think they were one pound 30 for the two. And these are from Amazon. Um, and you, what you can do is if you use your healthy extra B and I use my oats in this but you can also use Weetabix and um, and if you blend it up and make the make your porridge oats into like a flour then you can use either a mullet like yogurt for half a sin or you can use your healthy extra A choice milk allowance um, so for me it was skimmed it'd be 150 at 350 mils of, of milk but not all of that you wouldn't need all of that um put the milk in or the the yogurt and then um i put two eggs because i only had the medium eggs i get the, the the cheap eggs so i put two eggs in i put in a teaspoon of sweetener and i also put in um some vanilla extract and then you, it makes in this one this one it makes actually does make the four waffles um and that's fine it makes it really it makes it really really nice uh, and they 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 come out they just pop out they're amazing and this one i think there's five here and i think i can get 15 out of this now the other thing i've done um and i did this for our taster at christmas i made the same recipe but instead of using um instead of using a muller light or, or, or any milk I actually used cottage cheese and I used um, chive cottage cheese the fat free one the onion and chive one which is free on the program um, and I made savoury pancakes and what I did was I made them and I bought some smoked salmon and I put the smoked salmon on top and I put a piece of dill and they were like blinis and they were amazing they went down a treat at the taste today that we had at Christmas so I really recommend these I have got loads of silicone bits and pieces I've got um, muffin cases for my overnight oats I've also got little little um, bun cases for the overnight oats not overnight oats baked oats um, and I've also got um, cake tins as well so when I want to make uh, a pie like the piece pudding pie and things like that um, I've got all of those and they and I think they're, they're not they're no they're only pence they're not expensive at all and the other thing I've got is I've got the teddy bear molds which are like little Haribo gummy bears and you can make your own sin free 
gummy bears and there is lots of recipes i think it's um a it's either a sugar-free jelly and a, a and and some gelatin and you can make the gummy bear um harry bows but there is also a recipe which i got which um i'll try and link it into below it's uh, it's for turkish delight and i really like turkish delight and that was sin free unless if you wanted to put a chocolate button on top and i think that it was um you had to sin it for that but um but yeah there is i think they are genius and they are a really great way to change up your healthy extra b and actually get some nice things especially as pancake days come in um around february march time it's nice to have them for that so what else is in my basket do you remember last week i shared with you when i was still with the week the lentil curry creation from heinz this is sin free love it absolutely love it and i said to you that we make it with the curry loaf and then what what i use for my curry loaf is the bachelor's super rice now the bachelor's super rice is sinned it's it's one sin but it's only one sin and if you put this in a silicone loaf tin <laughs> mix it together make up make this up first then put this in with it and a couple of eggs make the make the mixture all, all gummy in a bag in a, in a bag not in a bag in a pot pour it into your silicone loaf tin you've got yourself a curry loaf the whole thing is one sin and it's really tasty with salad you can have it hot you can have it cold if you it, it, i suppose it's a bit like a vegetarian um version of meatloaf really 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 tasty um if you want to see somebody make the recipe up debbie from debbie's world she make she's got a video out there if you look curry's loaf for debbie's world i think tracy mouse has done it i also think casey jane has done it and i'm sure that the budget slimmers have done it too so um, i'm not going to cook it for you because my kitchen is an absolute nightmare at the moment so we're going to get a new one um but as soon as i've got a new kitchen i will probably do that because i make that quite a bit the other thing is that if we don't make it um having this in the cupboard is really great for paul and for myself if we come in late it takes like in 15 minutes you've got a dinner and just throw some salad on the side for your speed and that's a real good staple so one sim free really good for your cupboard staples so next thing i want to share with you sweetener what sweetener do i use well i don't like Candarel, and I don't like Splenda, and I don't like the ones in the other yellow um, ones. I shouldn't really say that. I'm not trying to be brand damaging, but I have an aversion to um, to the aspartame in it because I'm a bit nervous about that. So I've never, I've all, never been a lover of sweetener. However, stevia has really, really changed my mind. Now stevia is a plant-based sweetener and it's really really nice and it's a bit licorice but and i like licorice so i really 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 was really 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 excited when i found out that it did not contain um anything in there that was nasty um but it's really quite expensive however asda do a stevia now we have asda in the uk but um in the us it's Walmart. It's exactly the same company. So you may find it in there as well. It's their own brand. I've got one already downstairs and I've had it for months and I do use it quite a bit. And there's loads in there because I didn't because it's really light. But um this one's brand new and it's not been opened. Um it's 150 servings in here. How much do you reckon this is? It's 79 pence. It's under a pound it's re really worth even if you don't go to asda just to go and get these little staples because i mean it's so cheap so cheap and it's really good really good stuff so that's a cupboard staple so let's bring this up right let's have a look so i don't make too much noise by the microphone it's i'm not going to put it back down it's going to get too noisy so let's bring them all out. I will be with you. Um, 
that one. There we go. So, my tins. <sighs> Am I bothered? As the smart price. No, I'm not. I think as the smart price are really good value um, because you can add everything to every, anything to everything. Uh, my, my main staple, actually, I don't have it here. I don't have it here at all, is... Um, tin tomatoes now i buy them in bulk and i last one last time i bought them i bought them in in um in tesco's and i think i got them for like 10 a tin so i buy them in bulk anyway um and then i you know i use other things so i use sliced carrots these are sainsbury's basics baked beans i actually prefer these to the high brand beans as to do sliced mushrooms, these are great to stick in your bolognese. They're also great to stick in an omelette. I think they're about 20 pence. Um, as to smart price mushy peas, they again, pence. I think that these are all under 50p. This is amazing. These are the new potatoes. I can't, because it's quite, the light's quite bright. Let's see, can you see the new potatoes? There we go. New potatoes in water as the smart price. These are amazing because if you drain them and you stick them in the in your in your tin and spray the spray the the fry light over them, they come out crispy in the oven. Stick them in the oven. Absolutely amazing. If you have not tried tin potatoes with fry light, they are really great. Like 20 minutes in the oven 20 30 minutes in the oven they are fantastic absolutely love them what else have i got here as your piece i've done um green lentils again a great bulker if you're going to make a bolognese and you want a vegan version or a vegetarian version and also my chickpeas and the chickpeas i make for a chickpea curry yes i know you can get the dried ones as well they're probably even cheaper um but if you're running if you're i haven't got time to soak them or anything and you're and you work late this is really really easy stick it in the um stick it straight into the wok and i actually use i haven't brought them up because they're in the freezer i use another thing that changed my life when i went to iceland is the uh, frozen onions stick it all in there bung in some curry powder or some uh, uh, and a sin free curry stick yourself some peppers you can get some frozen peppers as i say i do exactly the same thing but with the frozen owls as well don't want to bring them up because there'll be a puddle on the floor and i don't want that but um you know you can do it you can do a uh, slimming world on a budget using these things and you can make them tasty now one of the things that i have tried if you put these the carrots um, and also these, the baked beans, together with a tin of tomatoes. And then I, I also, what else do I put in there? I think I put a tablespoon of um, of Worcester sauce in, because I like Worcester sauce. And then two pickled onions and you blend it. You end up with a soup and then heat the soup up and you taste it because it tastes exactly like a well-known brand of tomato soup and it is delicious it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely love it um and it's sin free whereas if you went to go and buy the tin of it and it cost you just under a pound um just for one tin you have to sin it if you do make it, if you make it yourself it's sin free and you've got enough that you can freeze for more than one one serving absolutely brilliant do look um at all of the tinned vegetables. Tinned fruit, you have to be careful with because you do have to sin tinned fruit, but tinned vegetables do go for. And also if you don't, if you want fruit and you can't afford it, I would go to the frozen food aisle and get some frozen berries. I love frozen berries. I always stick blackberries on my uh, breakfast with my all brand. Again, I get the cheapest all brand. I don't get the, um, I don't get the high-end Kellogg's, I get the cheap version. But um, what I do do is I do put frozen berries in there um, and they are they are speed, but they're really, really healthy, got lots of antioxidants. And they probably, I actually think frozen berries taste better. I stick them on frozen and you know what I want to, what I do? And this was a tip from Debbie, from Debbie's World. Um, 
she started putting on um, Muller Light on the top of her cereal. But what she did was she would put hot water on her all bran and hot water on on her Weetabix and things like that. And I started doing it to see what it would taste like. And I actually prefer it to having milk in. So I soften my all bran and then I put my frozen berries on there. But if I put my frozen berries on first and put the hot water on, it it, it thaws them out. So that works quite well. Um, the other thing I really like, and mum loves this too, is I love frozen cherries. Now frozen cherries aren't speed, but they are free on the plan. And I have them with um, fat-free Greek yogurt and they are gorge for an, an absolutely delicious dessert. You've got to try it. So that's my tins. And what else have I got in here? A of um, lentils. These are from a high-end brand, obviously, but upside-down packaging. But um, I do, I get my discount in there. So um, I do use lentils all the time. I stick them in soups um, to thicken them up. And I love lentils. I just think they it's a great way of getting protein into your diet. Um, and then frozen-wise, I just wanted to share with you, today I had the Slimming World fish um fish pie and it was free and it's delicious really 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 tasty um it was recommended to me by tess hello tess my friend tess uh, tess lane she is from um she's a good good friend of mine she's on slimming world we're, we're in a group together that she created um and she uh, loves this and she told me about it and um i do like it and what did i have with it now I think this was about £2.50. I don't know what I told you actually before I tell you what I had with it. If you open them up, inside is the recipe on how to make it. So you can then actually put that in your recipe book and you can compile and it's teaching you how to cook. And if you haven't got time, get yourself down to Iceland because there's loads. And remember, there's that Muller Light um, offer on at the moment. But what did I have with it? Now, this is, um, I was recommended this by the lovely Sam from my group. And um, she, I walk home with her and we walk past Iceland on a Monday. And um, she told me about these and she loves them. It's um, multi-greens rice steam bags. Now, it's like a, it's like a rice but it's not rice at all. It's kale and it's greens. Um, it's see, here we go. It's a mix of broccoli, curly kale, spinach, courgette, courgettes and seaweed. And it's absolutely delicious. You stick them in the microwave for four minutes in the bag. You don't need to prick it. It steams up. They come out, they come out lovely. And that's, that portion is a third of your plate and it's all greens. So it's all really good stuff. All the good stuff, lots of iron. Well, I had it with my fish pie today. Just to let you know, if you are in the States, as I said, Asda is Walmart, so you'll probably get smart price. And I know that you get great value because I've seen um, Phyllis, she has, she does some of the recipes and uh, I see the same branding, but different, obviously different in the States, but they have the same branding on there and the same fonts. So I'm sure that you can get all these, but go to your Aldi because your Aldi's are even cheaper as well and see what they've got um, tin wise. What else have I got in my bag? Oh, treats. So what I wanted to talk about next before we go is um, treats. So at Christmas, my mum got these for me to protect my weight loss and we like a treat. I like portion controlled um, like sweets, candies, chocolates. And um, I love a Freddo. Who doesn't like a Freddo? Freddos are five sins and in here let's open it there wasn't that much left because mr rivet um was eating more smell all that chocolate so the little buttons and the freddos these are the freddo caramels they are left in here because he doesn't like freddo caramels and also there are little fudges um and he doesn't like those either and he put some other bits in here which are not from this tin but there we go but the caramel freddos and the normal freddos they are five sins each and um i think none of all of them are under five sins but it took i went to poundland and um 
thought I'd fill it up because when I went to there, even though Mr. Vivier has his own stash and his own hi-fi bars as well, he didn't um, he did eat all my Freddos. So I, I replenished the, the, the tin, but I also add a little stash that I'm going to replenish. So I've got these little bars, the Cadbury's Dairy Milk little bars. I'm going to open them because they're really cool. There's lot. How many in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six pack. Look. Dairy Milk. That's really cool. These are five each. And I, I actually prefer these to Freddo's because although Freddo's quite thick, I do like a Freddo. Um, Freddo's are quite thick. These are long. So um, Freddo, I can stick straight in my mouth because I have got a big mouth. Um, but these I can nibble on and I quite like those. So these are five each. So I'm going to stick them in there. Here's your Freddo's. They are five each, five sins each. And here is your big pack finger of fudge and these I think these are the 23 ones and they're five and a half sins each so if I am feeling that I need a little bit of something sweet I do like those but I have to say I haven't really eaten really dived in I've really gone off of chocolate I don't know why um I still have a little bit of chocolate now and then but I don't eat as much because what I actually prefer a crisp but the other thing that I'm absolutely loving at the moment, again, in Poundland, is McVitie's Ice Gem Biscuits. And um, again, a blast from the past. These are four and a half sins in each, and there's six packets in there. Got you. you can see. Oh, I love these. These are little packets here. That's really, and I really, 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 really like these. I have these in the evening. Um, while I'm watching Coronation Street with my cup of tea and a packet of ice gems for four and a half sins. So, protect your weight loss. Make sure that you look on your apps and your cal if you're calorie counting, if you're Weight Watchers or if you're Slimming World because sometimes sins, points, calories do change. So do protect your weight loss because I don't know when you're going to be watching this video. Before we go... I had a giveaway last week and um, I had a couple of people who um, subscribed and also they sent a comment and the lady that has won was Victoria Wrightson and she said my favourite tip of the new year is to remind myself that nothing is off limits and if I really want or crave something I'll have it without the guilt. That's exactly where I'm at with these and with these. And I think that's really sensible. And often I have found that when I give myself permission, then sometimes I don't always want it. Totally, totally with you with that, with, with, um, with that, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Also adding a few drops of diluted juice to quark makes a delicious pudding. Wow, I've, do you know, I haven't tried quark. I need to try quark. Now, I've seen a couple of people trying quark. And there is, do you know, I found somebody at work who's doing Slimming World as well. And she's got the skinny syrup. And I asked her, where on earth do I get the skinny syrup? And they told, she told me that it's TK Maxx and it's three ninety nine, and it's cheaper than it is anywhere else. So um, I'm going to pop down to TK Maxx tomorrow to get myself some because I know there's some, what was it? Is it white chocolate skinny syrup? And I think that would go really well with the clock, with the quark. So Victoria, congratulations. You have won the prize, which is um, all those goodies, including the, um, what did I do? The uh, the birthday cake uh, fiber one bar, the um, hi-fi bars, the magazine um, and also I'll be in touch with you to find out what what um, diet you're following, what diet plan you're following. Are you following, following Slimming World? Are you following Weight Watchers or are you doing calorie counting? Because I will order you um, your very own uh, food journal so you can actually track your weight loss in there. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember, if you like what you have seen and, and you've humoured me with my ramblings on for half an hour once a week, um, please like, 
comment because I like to chat to you on online and also please do subscribe and see um, if I can get a little bit more followers and hello as well just hello and a shout out hi to everybody who is new and subscribed here um, you are welcome anything goes we never know what's going to happen but I'm sure I'm going to go and see less of you later and I'll see you next week bye